Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate you all. Um, today, we're asking, who has a crush on you? So just take a moment. I am doing a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment. So pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. And we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number ones. So pile number ones, my beautiful and talented people. Who has a crush on you? Who has a crush on you? King of Cups? Ten of Cups. Okay, somebody really has a lot of feelings for you. Like they, I'm not sure if they have let you know. Yeah, I think, I think for the most part, they have not let you know. Um, but this person, super into you. Like uh, Ten of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Like this person sees you as their happily ever after. This person, this person doesn't just like you. This person loves you. Justice. Yeah, this person really wants to make anything, make sure things are even between the two of you. They're, they actively, they want things to balance out. They want things to work out between the two of you. Do you know this? I mean, so, so you, you may not just have somebody who has a crush on you. You'll have somebody who's just absolutely in love with you. Like they, so yeah, 10 of cups. Like this is somebody who has mature feelings. Like they, um, so the feeling is strong. Some of them could be a water sign, but not necessarily. Um, some of them could be a Gemini. Yes, yeah, some of them could be a Gemini. Um, also, but I mean, it's not necessarily just the signs. Like I've got the, the Wheel of Fortune. Like this person, um, you know, as far as their concern, like you're their end game, you're they're happily ever after. They feel like you are meant to be in their life. The hermit. This person has again, has this person told you how they feel? It is for the most part, this person has kept these emotions to themselves. Yeah, kept these emotions to themselves. Two 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 is on the clock. So I would look up that number to see if it has any significance to you. Yeah, I feel like this person is also having to explore why they haven't expressed their feelings. Because again, you fill them with an extraordinary amount of happiness. These are the two happiest cards in the deck. Like this person, you know, you know, to, as far as this person is concerned you're the one this person however has not told you is kind of figuring out why they haven't um with with the seven of cups seven of cups is options do they feel like you have a lot of options were they previously unable like there's they have been under some level of illusion like there's been some level of of them not being able to see um which has caused there to be some level of disconnect between the two of you i would say that this is particularly good to get right next to the sun though because the sun I, I'm getting like that there there may have been some get disconnect be between you because of you know because of some kind of illusion but this this dispels illusions so I feel like if they had you know illusions regarding 
this that caused there to be an issue between the two of you. Like the, this person, this person is having to see the light. I really quickly saw the page of swords. Are they being able to like, I, I didn't feel like I really needed to take it, but it could be for some of you, 10 of swords is about observation. Um, it can be about a message. Ooh, it might be a message. Like this person might come forward with a message. Ooh, is this somebody that, that's very interesting. So with the four of cups, it's like, did this person not take an offer? I, I feel like this person you know, because of some kind of illusion that they were under, like they, it's like they didn't realize the opportunity that they had. Um, they didn't make an offer. Who has, has a crush on you? Two of Cups, yeah. But this person has realized that if they've caused, if there's been any turmoil between you, like they realize that you, you could be the one that they could be harmonious with. Like you're, they're really having to, to face the light. They're really having to do any kind of self-reflection. It's like any, any illusions they have, have not been, they, they've not been able to keep it. Um, if they have at any point, uh, you know, tried not to take this seriously, um, they, they are feeling really stupid. So yeah, really not the best, uh, regarding it because, uh, again, this person, you know, really knows, you know, this person like knows that you're their end game. So if they did anything that you know made you feel like you know you weren't choosing them or they weren't taking you seriously and they may have done that because there was illusions in this connection before um now they're realizing oh i may have made some very foolish choices who has a crush on you choices <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I feel like this is a person that uh, does feel like they've made foolish choices regarding you. Um, that I feel like that they realize that you are their healthy choice. You are, you know, the choice that's, uh, that, that would make best sense for their life. But I think that they were in a place of dissatisfaction. So they, you know, either they weren't able to see that you were offering anything and some of them weren't able to see that you were offering anything or some of them, you know, like, you know, treated it as if, you know, it's like, well, there are other options. If this person took other options, this person feels very stupid. So I feel like for the most part, most of you already know this person. Uh, I feel like that there has been some heartbreak in this situation. I feel like if somebody has in the past not shown you their feelings, um, that there are a great deal of feelings below the surface. And this person is realizing that they, um, that the only wisdom, the only smart choice is to follow their heart. Like they're, they're realizing, oh, it's actually not, you know, like the wisdom's there. Like that's, that's, you know, that's where there's going to be payoff. Like this person feels, uh, completely connected to you. So with the, with Frida Kahlo, I often get this one. Like, it's not that, that, like, there could be somebody very artistic involved. 
That's not for everybody, but I do feel like that's somebody, uh, there, there's somebody here that needs that confirmation. But mostly with Frida Kahlo, I get that it's about being the most authentic version of yourself. So if this person hasn't been authentic with you, yeah, and I feel like some of these people have, again, not told you their feelings, you know, were unable to, you know, see a good thing, you know, like they're getting to the point where they not only like, no, they're realizing that they have to be their most authentic self with you, like that they, you know, um, and if they choose not to, that that's a choice that they're, you know, I feel like uh, this is somebody who's very much realizing that they made a bad choice. Um, yeah, this person knows with the crown, like this person knows that you are one of kind, like this person knows, you know, that if there were other choices, you're still the obvious choice. With love, yeah, I feel like this person is realizing that there is love in this connection. Very much so, this person, you know, um, maybe this person, you know, felt like it was going to go away. Okay. This person may have not chosen a love because they were feeling like, well, you know, it'll all be, and you know, this person might've been a little bit of an ER they might've been like, oh, this is going to end badly anyways. So, you know, like, so with the horse, with the crystal horse, uh, this quartz is about clarity. I feel like this person, you know, has truly had to come into clarity regarding you and regarding to any choices they've made. Like, uh, I feel like that they're not necessarily being able to justify their choices at the moment. And they realize that, that you are there, you know, that you are the person that they love, love, love. Like, this is not somebody who just likes you. So with the horse, I feel like the newfound clarity is, is helping them move forward. Yeah. With the, with the rose. Yeah. This person, if, if, if in the past, like they were deluding themselves and I feel like some of them were maybe trying to pretend like you weren't as important as you are. This person is now at a point where they have no choice but to appreciate who you are. So I've got the Tinkerbell charm. Yeah, this person, this person feels like you're magical, that you, that you bring, that you have this, this thing, that you bring something that nobody else can to the table. Like you are somebody that is fully unique again, and they realize that they need to be fully authentic. So I think that this person is going to come forward. Yeah. This person is going to come forward because, um, it's not like, I feel like this person may have prioritized other choices at some point. Uh, and this person is now realizing, oops, um, this person is really having with the, I want to say, uh, it, I know it's a dolphin, but I, for a second I heard whale. So like maybe whale is important to somebody. Um, but with dolphin, that's about intelligence. Like that is also it's water. So it's like, even a special amount of emotional intelligence. This person may have upgraded their level of emotional intelligence. Again, they're realizing um, that if they have to go with their heart, if they, like they're realizing that, oh, the smart choice is actually uh, my heart-based choice. 
So with the double-deckered bus, some of you may have some connection to the United Kingdom. I feel like some of you definitely do. Otherwise, this is it's this is moving forward, but it's like uh, but it's more like it's almost like more than one person is moving forward. Like it it may be like it's like the this person. It's not that this person just like. It's it's almost like this person moving forward is just going to help a lot of people move forward. Uh, again, this person moving forward might help you move forward, but I feel like it's almost like if they move forward in their life, it's like they're going to be an example to other people, you know, uh, who will actually then start making healthier choices. So I feel like it's almost as if there is there's kind of a ripple effect which is interesting so uh this is somebody who loves you um this is somebody that um may uh, you know has you know most likely never really given you a chance I, I you know i don't think that you've ever been in a relationship like this person, I don't know, they could have been in a place where it's like, well, I don't want to risk them. Yeah, some of you, uh, some of them are like, I don't want to risk the friendship. So they're, you know, ignoring what might be there. Um, some of you, it may, uh, you know, not all of you, it's a friendship, but some of you, like this person was persistently just for a while unable to parse their own emotions like they're um and they've definitely up leveled in their clarity um this person is and is this person is definitely like you uh, likely to come forward and let their feelings be known so so if you wanted to know if they'll tell you, this person is going to tell you. But I feel like this is a long time coming for some of you. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two. Uh, you just need to be subscribed and comment. I'm going to give them away at 5,000 subscribers. Also, just thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. It all matters. And I'm really grateful. So it's time to move on to our gorgeous pile number twos. So pile number twos, I got excited and I just threw out one card before I set the timestamp. So that was the Hermit card. Okay, so this uh, is somebody, I'm getting the feeling that, you know, the, they definitely have not let their feelings be known yet. Seven of Swords. So the Hermit, the Seven of Swords. The Justice card and the Three of Wands. Interesting. I feel like um, this is somebody that has feelings but have kept it to themselves um, and have kind of been trying to avoid you and the situation. With the Justice card. Mm. because like the seven of swords isn't a very just card the seven of swords is you know sneaking the seven of swords is you know taking your ball and going home like you know very it's very avoidant yeah this person this person could have an avoidant attachment you can definitely look that up. Um, but this person in general, it, it, it's like they, they, it's not that they don't have a crush on you, but this person like wants to avoid this person, you know, you know, wants to cut out of the situation. Like they, I am going to have to look into justice a little bit um, just to get more clarity on that. But the three of wands, the three of wands could be looking forward to the future. It's like 
three of uh, wands happens after you've made a decision to move forward, but you're kind of waiting for things to pay off. But I almost feel like this person isn't really building a foundation with you. Yeah. So that's why the justice card is a little bit of a question mark. Why is the justice card here? So it's like with the justice card, if things, if, if the scales are to be balanced and they're, then this person who is quite frankly, not in a place that they're going to pursue you. In fact, you might know them by actively avoiding you um, because they, is it because they're a fool? You know, I'm getting like, they, they're acting like a coward, but they need to act bravely. And again, just because this person has a crush on you, I, I mean, if they're not for you, they're not for you. Do they see you off in the horizon? Are they trying to... I'm like, what are they trying to pursue? Because like, I feel like they're actively avoiding you. Six of pentacles so what i'm getting is like in the future they know that they want something where you know there's generosity and you know you, you both get your needs met um but right now this person it's like it's almost like this it's almost like the crush makes them so uncomfortable. It's like, they're like, nah, I'm leaving town. Like they're, they, this person doesn't seem to be truly dealing with it. Who has a crush on you? Queen of Pentacles. Are they the Queen of Pentacles? This person um, knows that you're somebody who is very valuable. They know that you're somebody who requires balance. They know that you're somebody who's practical. It's like they know what they need to do, which is move forward, which is invest in this situation. But, um, but right now, um, you know, right now they're screaming on the inside and running away. That's what they're doing. Um, with the, with the Ace of Cups, this person, like you do fill them with a lot of love. Um, but again, I feel like because this person has been keeping things to themselves and running away that, you know, you have yet to have a beginning with them. Yeah. This person is definitely like they, they need to be more brave um, because otherwise they're aware that if they don't, aren't brave, then they're not balancing the scales with you. So I feel like you have offered them generosity. Like this is probably like somebody like you've you've put some value in the situation. And this person really, really knows. So you got the justice and the six of pentacles. And then you got the justice and the six of pentacles again. All of them, like six of pentacles specifically, is about generosity. It's about equal give and take. This person really, really knows that they need to you know, that they need to make things right in this situation. 
that it is up to them to bring balance to things. Um, so it's not that they don't know this person, you know, this person knows that you are very valuable. They, this person has feelings for you. And this person realizes, definitely realizes that they have left things. unbalanced it's like it's not that like this person doesn't think that you're unbalanced that they this person realizes this person realizes that they're being a coward and that them being a coward has caused problems between the two of you and that you know, if they can get past the, you know, there being, uh, you know, the issues that seem to only be there because they're not contributing, that there will be victory with you. Like that, you know, this person feels like somebody, it's like they, it's like they can't help, like they're having trouble helping hurting themselves. Because they're aware that their fear um, is is that they're they're aware that their fear is sabotaging this. They know that they need to cooperate instead of cause problems. But again, like I said, this person could have a an attachment disorder like it's to that level like this person this person might have an avoidant attachment like they they um and that that comes from trauma again it's not an excuse you know to you know continually sabotage things but it is an explanation Yeah, this person knows that they need to be the more heroic version of themselves because they do have, it's like they do, they have this, you know, tender feelings and they're keeping it, you know, they're trying to keep it protected as much as possible. And they're trying to keep it protected as much as possible by, you know, avoiding as much as possible. But it's causing heartbreak. So I feel like this person, like you have, uh, like that there, there was never a beginning between the two of you. Um, but it's it's because this person can't at this point you know this person is not has not been able to overcome their unhealthy programming again it's not an excuse for them to take their issues out on you you know their their trauma is something that eventually that they're going to have to deal with or not but they are being heavily guided because they know it's like they know if they can be the better person, if they can be strong enough to open up, that this connection can grow, you know, it being the green thing, like that they know it's like this person knows that this is the connection where there can be equality and balance. This person knows that if they can start contributing the same amount in, like they, they, it's like they, they know on an intellectual level that if they can get themselves to, to, you know, 
like they know that, you know, what they offer you, like they see that what they offer you is going to come back to them. They, they, they intellectually know that you bring in, that you could offer you the balance and the generosity that they didn't receive. But this person is having a very hard time overcoming their progress, uh, overcoming their programming. And this person isn't quite there. They do, however, it's like they they are, however, having to face the truth. They're having to face that they're not just running away because, you know, you're scary. They, they're running away because they have an issue. They're having to face that as long as they are running away and they are running away, that there's not a, that, you know, things will, you know, be forever in the future. And they, and this person really knows that this person knows that they cause things to be out of balance and that balance can happen between the two of you, but they need to overcome a pretty overwhelming fear. So they can contribute the way that they know they should. So this person is not going to come forward right away, but this person is realizing that they're there. This person is realizing that they're having to go inside and deal with their deepest, darkest fear. This person is having to processed, uh, sorry, process, process, you know, their, like, what for them is really primal terror. So it's, it's not that you shouldn't see them with some level of kindness. This person does need to make things right. Um, I feel like you guys, you know, I feel like you guys have not had a relationship. Yeah. Um, but this person, to the extent, like, no, this person is not at a point where they can come forward, but they like you enough that because they like you that much, they're going and dealing with their deepest, darkest fears. So I feel like once they are able to process that and not let their fear control them, that is when this person is going to start putting things right between the two of you. Dropping cards as I do. So I want to say thank you to everybody. Um, I, I'm also giving away two free readings at 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you're subscribed and you comment. Uh, I also want to say um, thank you for everybody who's been liking, sharing, booking readings. It matters, and I appreciate it. So we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number threes. So pile number three. Who has a crush on you? Two of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Four of Swords. Is this okay? I feel like you kind of have somebody who's idolizing you a little bit. Yeah, I feel like this person um, is somebody that really doesn't feel like you are on the same level. This person 
sees you as the empress. They see you as the person who has everything that they could possibly want. Um, this person sees themselves as kind of just kind of just starting to be stable. And this person, like, like they want to, to make the decision and come forward towards you. Like they're, it's like, they're really trying to like, they, they definitely like see you at different places um, with the four of swords. Are they heart healing? Do they see you? It's like, This can be a pause. Okay, so I feel like this person is really having to pause and consider again because, you know, this person does not put you on the same level at all. Who has a crush on you? Queen of Cups. Are they the Queen of Cups? No, like I'm getting, this might not be somebody who knows you that well. Because I feel like there is a lot of romantica uh, romanticization. I'm probably messing that up at this point, but that's okay. Like, this person romanticizes you uh, a lot. Like, this person, you know, it's like this person, uh, you know, sees, you know, like, sees you walk into a room and you're walking in in slow motion and you have, like, you know... A soft love song in the background something like that like this person but I'm not sure if this person has even contacted you that much like um so I will I do think it's important to consider like letting uh this person you know may be putting all their, um, you know, hopes and dreams and, and things into you, but there could be issues if you do get together and that this person actually has to be willing to know you outside of just their fantasy of you. And this person has a very, like, this person has a fantasy of you. Uh, do you know this person well? feel like for the most part, like, uh, like this is somebody that, you know, may see you a lot. Four of swords. Some of you, like you could be in the healing profession. Like you could be four of swords twice. That's, that's healing. It's like, I feel like some of you like could be doctors, could be nurses, could be, um, you know, anything that, you know, gives rest and healing to people. Also, the Queen of Cups can often be like a healer energy. Like this person. To them, they're like, you're the Empress, you're the High Priestess, like, Like, this person, like, sees you, but also there's this statue in this one. It's like, this person very much, it's like they attribute, you know, beauty. They attribute, you know, like, mysteriousness to you. Like, they feel, you know... But again, like this person thinks that you're mysterious. This think person thinks that you're beautiful. This person thinks that you're perfect. But as we are all aware, none of us are. Um, and I feel like the, the the like the the amount of romanticizing is actually a burden. Like the, it kind of, you know, it kind of, it's like you're a mystical person to this, you know, like versus, versus getting to be human with flesh and blood. Who has a crush on you? 
Ace of Cups. I feel like this person like does want to make you an offer. Um, and I feel like they do, like this person like directs like all the love in their heart towards you. Um, but again, like this person, like if you date this person, make sure that they're willing to see you as a human being, like instead of, you know, a mythical, you know, perfect being. Four of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. I do feel like even though this person, like, this person hasn't made a decision to come towards you, uh, but I feel like part of it is because, like, you're this mythical, mythical perfect being, and, uh, like, so there's this assumption that you can't choose them. I feel like, it, to some extent, this person, it's like there's a, because, like, they, this is like crying over spilled milk, but it's also like they're being, this person is kind of like, it's it's like this person has never told you their feelings. Um but they're but they're also sure that things won't work out. Uh you know. It's like this person has had an entire relationship in your head, in their head regarding you, including the breakup. Like Like they're, they're like, they're, they're already, they're very, you know, like they're, again, you're, this, this person very much doesn't think that you're on the same level. So they, they're like, but I will hold this love forever, even though it will never, like this person's a little bit dramatic. <laughs> so I've got celebration. I feel like, I don't think this person has quite realized that, that, you know, they can have, you know, all this idolization regarding you. They can have, you know, their own not feeling good enough and you know, woe is me, I, I, I will never get a chance with the person of my dreams. Um, but like this person has to realize that they, they need to plant an actual seed. Like, um, and like they, they need to, it's like if they want to win the lottery at some point, they would have to buy a ticket. Uh, that's not saying that they, uh, you know, that you're going to win the lottery if you buy a ticket. But you know what you can't do? Win the lottery if you didn't buy a ticket. So, I'm not, this person may or may not come forward. Um, but this person, if they do come forward, is going to actually have to, instead of everything being, you know, too perfect and too good to be true, this person would have to come forward and, you know, offer stability to actually build something for things to pay off. So I feel like you bring a lot of, you know, it's like, you bring a lot of joy into this person's life. You bring a lot of sadness to this person's life. Um, you, you know, but like, it's, it's like this person has, you know, 
imagined the marriage before talking to you. So like, uh, like they, they, they would need to practically build something that could conceivably grow. Um, and this person, I feel, I feel like, you know, because there was the page of Pentacles and then it moved to the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this person is, you know, kind of slowly building themselves up to like make a real world practical action regarding you. But, but in the meantime, you know, your appeal may largely be in their head. So don't panic. Um, this person probably freaks out at the thought of talking to you. This is somebody who is not going to come across smooth. This person is somebody who, you know, may just forget to talk in your presence. Like that, that's a, that is a real thing uh, with them. So I've got the hand. Like this person, it's like this person does realize that they would have to, you know, be responsible for taking actions to, to like, if, if they want, they realize that if they want anything to happen, they will actually have to take actions that might be practical, uh, you know, they may have to present themselves as an option to you. So I feel like this person is, you know, definitely trying to, they're, they're trying to find the, the courage to do that. Okay, and I feel like this person is working on self-improvement because, again, they do see you um, on a different um, on a different playing field than they are. With the so with Wonder Woman, no, I'm I'm getting this as part of your idealization. Like this is the you know. You are the dream come true. You're the perfect woman or man or however you identify. So this is like after, like, even if once things, like, once things, once there's actually communication and talking between you and once, you know, you guys are going to have to deal with them seeing you as, as, you know, being perfect in somebody's eyes is, sounds good initially, <laughs> but we all want to be seen and known. And we are all complex and not just an idea. Uh, so yeah, that that is going to be the burden of of if this person does bring themselves to come forward. Um, with with Yoda in the heart, like often I get like this person uh, is like they know that their wisdom is in their heart, but but I'm actually getting like. I'm getting it uh, in a different way than usual. Yeah, so I'm I'm going to actually get clarification on that terms. Why is Yoda in the heart? Is it that they find you very emotionally wise? Are they very emotionally wise? I feel like, because again, a lot of this, like as much as this person, you know, you are the stars, the moon, the sun to this person. Um, right now things aren't very deep. 
like this person so it's like that there there's going to be like a need for that depth to actually occur between you because how can things be deep if they don't really know you so with the with the chef hat interesting because this is often about nourishment and I feel like it's not that they get a lot of nourishment from you and you don't get any nourishment from them because again this person you know is is having this you know dream life starring you um but I mean it is also something that's practical like I, I'm, I'm just getting that there is a need for a greater degree of practicality. So, like this person, like they, they have, like they've already gone through twists and turns in, in, in their love story regarding you, but they haven't let you know about it. Like, again, like, there is this, this, you know, disappointment, like, because they don't li live up, to, but it's like, it's not like you've told them that they don't live up to your um, standards. This is their assumptions. So it's like this person, if this person comes forward, it's almost like they're going to be way ahead of you. And again, practically, if they want things to sprout and grow, that they need to plant the seeds, they need to give some, you know, let's plant the seeds. Things need to be watered. You know, people need to eat like the. This person is not super practical in regards to this. And I'll often, you know, clearly we aren't always practical regarding our crushes. But this person, you know, uh, it, there there is like this romantic. Um, but not yet practical part. So this is the the pixie, the tim uh, Tinkerbell. Again, like this person, you know, you're magical, you're mystery, you're, you know, you you come from a mystery land. You have not been touched by this earth. You you don't like this person is going to have to to come to it, like if if things are going to grow. Um and I feel like this person, you know, like is it the very beginning of a self um help journey uh with the with the beautiful Frida Kahlo which I often get is ooh okay I, I like often this is about being who you are but like I'm actually getting images like because over and over again, like Frida Kahlo was famous for doing self-portraits. So, like, I would not be surprised if this person is constantly looking at pictures of you. Yeah, this person may be constantly looking at pictures of you. This person, like... Because this person clearly isn't coming forward as themselves, at least not yet. Uh, but yeah, this person, it's like you, their, your image for them is everywhere. So this person super, super idealizes you. I'm not sure if they have romantic potential, though. Um... I think that they tr are trying to um, 
they are trying to come to a, a, a place where they can ground things. Um, but it's like you're not fully reality to them. I don't know. If, uh, so, so that in itself will be a little bit of a, of, of a hump to get over, <laughs> of some wants to like, maybe let go of. So I certainly, even if this, you know, if you have somebody and they come forward and they're super romanticizing you, you know, they want to make everything go really fast, take a few breaths. Um, if you do want to give them a, sh a shot, uh, you know, you're going to have to bring them down to earth and you're going to have to uh, take things slow with them. And if they're not willing to take things slow and let you have the time to process the emotions that they've, you know, been having this entire fantasy world regarding you. If they're then, you know, not willing to let you say, hey, let me catch up, then they are definitely not a good choice. So, so I'm getting like, you may have somebody come forward and they're, you know, like, they're gonna if this person comes forward, they're going to be like, let's do everything right away. Uh, and you may have to, uh, if you really want to give this person a chance, you may have to put the brakes in on things. You're going to have to put some reality in on things um, and see if, and actually both get to know them and have them get to know you because because this person, you know, is definitely in the fantasy and not the reality of things. Okay, so thank you. I really appreciate you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you are subscribed. Any comments, dropping cards, at least fill in my lap. <laughs> so thank you so much, uh, especially for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. It all matters, and I really appreciate it. So we're going to move on to our gorgeous pile number fours. Hello, pile number four. Who has a crush on you? Six of wands. Queen of cups. Two of Swords, and the King of Cups. All right, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups came out. There is this person, and they're like, you know, they, they feel like you are their, they feel like you are their equal, and they feel like you are their match. There is this sense of victory regarding you. Um, but like there is some mental conflict as well. And I feel like that has to do with, I'm just seeing the moon in the background and the moon can be, you know, the moon is emotion. These are both ruled by emotion and water. Um, but I'm also getting that there is like there is there is some fear that's keeping an uncertainty between the two of you. Um like there is fear that's causing mental conflict with the Knight of Pentacles. So this has a horse in it. Horses are about movements. Um knight is about movement. Like this is going off to victory. This is about the need to offer something concrete. Yeah, I feel like this person really knows that they have to offer something concrete to you. Um, because they know that it's not just anybody, that they know that you 
like they need to offer you something concrete. Um, with the eight of swords, was this person unsure before? I feel like that th th this mental conflict has caused there to be a lack of movement in this situation. Like this belief, like there, it's like, I don't know everything that's ha uh, that, that might ever happen between the two of us. So I just like, I can't move forward, uh, which is, it is something that is an illusion. It is something that, you know, this, this bird is blindfolded, but it's like the per bird isn't tied. Like literally, if it just moved at all, the blindfold would fall off of them. And if, you know, and there, there's enough, there's enough of distance to get out. It's like this person, is this person currently in this? Does this person feel like you're conflicted about them? Do some of your people feel like you're conflicted about them? I feel like that there the, the some of you your people do feel that you're conflicted regarding them. I feel like some of them have been conflicted regarding you. Maybe they were conflicted regarding you which caused them to uh, you to be conflicted regarding them. You know? But with the 7 of swords somebody freaked out. Yeah, somebody freaked out in this connection. Um, and the kind of ran, um, which kind of made, uh, I don't know if it, it might have been, it, like, the person who ran may now feel trapped in that decision of running. May be like, hey, I, I had, like, this really good thing, and now, what did I just do? So I feel like this is somebody that that you do know. Yeah, like this is somebody like. And I feel like this was somebody that you have offered, you know, kindness to. Like that you have been really sweet to. Like that you have. Um, and this person, you know you know, really has these emotions for you too, really does see you as their, as, as like the match for them. Like they do see you and they know that, you know, that, you know, being with you would be like winning like that, you know, but there was this, I feel like that whatever happened in the situation, one person really just, Freaked out. Ace of Pentacles. And this person, again, they know that they need to give you something stable. Um, if they're the one who freaked out. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you, they were the one who just freaked out. Um, they realized that they might have caused you to be conf conflicted regarding them. That they may have... You know, like they now feel that they're in some kind of prison um, when it's almost like that they could just, instead of being flighty, that they could, you know, offer you this new beginning, which would be really well grounded where, where there, where there wouldn't be this energy of running away and freaking out. Yeah. Whatever is going on with this person, and I feel like at this, for most of you, this person, you know, like they felt a really deep connection with you. Um, they didn't really know how to deal with that intellectually because it's really been all, all the difficult cards have been swords cards here. Um, like they didn't really know how to deal with the depth of emotion intellectually, so they freaked, they ran. Um, and they do feel a little bit, you know, stuck and tied in with that decision. They realize, they they are, however, realizing, oh, 
if I might have caused a problem because I was flighty, because I, you know, freaked out, because I was, you know, not grounding things, I could, hmm, give an offer of stability and, like, you know, actually be there and things could actually work out. So this person is starting to learn. Yeah, this person is starting to learn. Uh, I feel like this person, again, like they're, this person had a lot of swords cards and like their head, like they, they definitely freaked out. Um, but now they realize, oh, that they could, you know, with the, they could plant the seed and then they could water the seed and then they could, you know, keep demonstrating stability um, and that that might actually be a solution. So this person is realizing that they, that they, that they caused problems uh, and that they're starting to realize that if the, if, if, if it was them like freaking out and running away, that they actually could still build something with you. If they offer you, like, if they're really coming in, being stable, offering you stability, and working on that stability with you. So there is hope in this connection, because while this person uh, didn't make the best decisions, this person is, however, learning to make better ones. I'm not sure if, the, I feel like this person is kind of, it's like, first they were obsessed with the foolish decision that they made, and now they're getting obsessed about, you know, the offer that they're going to make um, with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands could be defensive, but I'm, I'm getting, like, they're coming into their strength. They're realizing that they need to, if they want what they want, they need to stand their ground and fight for what they want. So this person is realizing that they need to fight for you. Um, this person feels very attached to you. Um, now, the devil card is not always healthy. Like, this is a lot of, like, this is obsessive. Um, but I'm going to get some clarity on it because I feel like I should. So the king, uh, uh, so I'm sorry, the knight of hearts. I feel like this person realizes that that they've been because I don't think that I'm getting that the, it's not that this person feels like the attachment with you is unhealthy. That's not what they feel. Uh, in fact, they know that they need to give you an offer of love. And they need to give you an offer of stability. Um, but I feel like this person definitely has trouble, you know, letting you go. This person definitely, I feel like when, when this person, um, did like, just when when this person did like run away and looks like they ran away because of you know things they weren't yeah there was some kind of thing that they weren't dealing with that caused them to run away so they're realizing uh, so I I, fit, I think that for the most part they've had to realize. Like, and when they went away, they, they only got a little bit more obsessive. Uh, like, I don't, I'm not getting that they followed you. In fact, the very opposite. Like they, they were like, I feel like they really couldn't let things go. 
And then they had to go into, okay, if I ran away from this person that's perfect for me, because this person does think that you're perfect for them, uh, and this person definitely knows you better than pile three, um, that this person, it, 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 you know, has realized that, oh, I have to deal with my issue um, so that I have to deal with my issue so that it doesn't continue to be the issue. Yeah, that's what it is. So this person is thinking about the fixes and this person is realizing that they had a real issue that caused them to, you know, to bolt, to run, to be, you know, indecisive when they needed to make a decision. Like this person realizes um, that they need to apologize. Um, because they really want to transform the ending between you that they that they that they have since realized that they caused because of unresolved issues. However, I do like the devil and death together because death is an end to this. Like this is the, they realize that them running away has closed the door between the two of you. They realize that they're going to be, it's going to be necessary for them to reopen that to, for if there is a, it's like for them to be a transformation, for there to be a transformation in the connection, they have realized that there needs to be a transformation within themselves and that they need to offer you different behavior. So the really good thing about this is you probably know them, but this person is going to try to come back new and improved. Um, because this person does realize what they, you know, what they have lost by letting fear take the wheel. Because the, the devil is also about fear. And this person freaked out and ran away because of fear. And this person realizes that they, that this situation never got grounded um, and that they, that they are going to have to demonstrate consistently with their actions that they are, you know, that they are going to water this situation, that they are going to nurture this situation, that they are going to offer you something that you can build on and last the test of time. So I feel like this person is going to come back and search for some redemption regarding you. Um, I'm not sure if you guys ever had a connection. Like, I feel like you guys may never, I don't think you were, a lot of you were never together romantically. Uh, and it was largely, you were never uh, together romantically because this person um, freaked out about it. 333 three, three is on the clock. Um, but this person, when they come in, uh, they're planning to only bring stability. Like they, they do realize that it wasn't you, it was them. And they also realize that because of that, they, that they have to come with an apology and they have to come with more importantly, changed behavior. So again, three, 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 um, that's an angel number. You can look it up, um, but it may be significant to you, but this person, you know, their, their, their intent is, uh, I feel like that they are going to come back. Yeah, they're definitely going to come back. Um, they're going to make sure that when they do that, it's like, it's like methodical, like they're, 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 and they do intend on coming back with change behavior. Like they're not, um, they're not, 
they're not planning on doing the same thing, which I feel like is very important for some of you to hear. So thank you. I really appreciate you. If you do want a free reading, I'm going to give away two as soon as I hit 5,000 subscribers. So just make sure that you are subscribed and you comment and you're in the running for that. And I also want to say thank you to everybody who's liked, shared, subscribed, commented, booked readings. It all matters. And I really appreciate you all. Thank you.